Hey guys, today I am bringing you my March favorites and isn't it crazy that we're almost in April already? Like, I know everyone says this, I say this, but seriously, 2016 is going so fast. I don't know if it's because this is my last semester of college so I'm focused on that or if it's because I'm focused on our wedding planning since that's coming up in September. I just feel like probably that's probably why I'm just focused on all of that stuff so it's just making this year fly by Are you guys dig in my 90s vibe today like I got this adidas jacket on it's crazy it is so crazy that I just love it so much sorry if I keep touching my hair but it just being straight it's just always in my face and I'm I'll just apologize from the beginning because hair touching is probably gonna happen in this video so I do have quite a few favorites from this month and I'm sorry I kind of fell off the monthly favorites wagon there for a while but I do have quite a few favorites this month so let's just get started first I want to talk about the makeup wipes I have been using so these are from global beauty care I guess that's what the brand is and they are the coconut oil wipes I actually found these at Ross dress for less I love getting my makeup wipes there because they're always so cheap and I've just really been enjoying this kind I've never even heard of this brand they had a few different kinds from this brand but I really like coconut oil so that's why I got these ones um, I just like it it doesn't burn my eyes it doesn't irritate my face I like just wiping all my makeup off and then washing it and it works really really well so I will try to find these online and then like link them down below but I definitely got them for like four dollars at Ross Dress for Less next thing I want to talk about is this Nivea in shower body lotion guys I am obsessed with this so this is the cocoa butter kind they have like the original scent and I forget what else but I didn't really care because I just love everything cocoa butter so I know I saw a few people on YouTube do like sponsored videos from Nivea using this in their shower and honestly that's what made me want to try it. It's just so convenient because I will admit that sometimes I don't like to take that extra step when I get out of the shower and put on lotion. I mean I always do but I don't like to. So this saves me from having to do that extra step. So. You just put this on after you wash your whole body and then I just lather it all over my body. I probably use an excessive amount but it just smells and feels so good. And then you rinse it off and I was kind of worried about rinsing it off like where is it going to go but it, it doesn't go just the excess like you'll see the white residue on your body so you basically rinse that off and then you can still feel it on you and it's just so soft and then seriously it's just as good as any other lotion like I get out and I usually let myself air dry just throw on my terry cloth robe and kind of just dry and my skin is always left feeling so soft and so smooth and smells so good especially in the nighttime it's just so nice to take a shower and use this and then lay down in your sheets Ugh. so if you have been looking for a new moisturizer try this seriously I thought it might be kind of gimmicky but it's not like I love this. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to live without this. Okay, so now I want to talk about two palettes before I get into all of my lip favorites this month. But the first is my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I know I am late to jump on this train, but I'm seriously so in love with it. So I know you guys have seen it before. It's just a completely matte shade, and then you can use them as like little quads. They all kind of go together in their own little sections, but I like to just grab from wherever in the palette and just do whatever looks I want to do. I've seriously been reaching for this almost every day that I wear eyeshadow because I love matte eyeshadows and this pigmentation and this formula is just so amazing I really love this like brick red color right here and I love this color to blend in my crease it is just amazing I love it I'm falling in love with this palette and then the other palette I have been loving is my Manny MUA Makeup Geek palette it took me a while to get this because I got on like the second order of it and I was on the waiting list and blah 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 but I got it that's all that matters now I know you guys have seen this and I just used it in my last tutorial but these colors are so freaking beautiful so I have never used Makeup Geek shadows I never ordered from them nothing like I don't know why I just never did this is the first thing I got from Makeup Geek and I am so happy with it the pigmentation the formula the creaminess like they are amazing the first color I used was this shade for my transition in my crease you guys can see I kind of like the same shades in my crease all the time but let me tell you this was just so beautiful it blended out so so nice and then like this all the shades all the shades this shade ooh, 
let me just stop saying this shade, this shade, this shade, all the shades. Beautiful. Okay, now lip shades. I have two different brands here. First, I have NYX, and it is the lingerie lipstick. So I'm going to talk about these two colors. I only have three colors. These two, and then the, like, I think it's the lightest shade, Baby Doll. It's a very light nude pink, but I didn't want to put that one in my favorites because it's not one of my favorites. So this more red shade is called Exotic, and it's just a really nice, pretty, toned down, kind of muted brick red, and I really do love this color. And this more, like, browny mauve shade is called Teddy. And I heard that these are supposed to be dupes for Kylie's lip kits. I'm not really sure. I can't say that I follow her lip kits, like, religiously. I haven't even tried to get one. I'm just kind of going to wait, even if it's, like, a year later. I'll get one when I get one, but these are just right in front of me, so I just bought them, and they're nice and affordable, and I do like them. They are not your typical liquid lipstick. They are more moussey, and they're not as pigmented, so it does take a couple layers to build them up, especially that light one. That is why I did not put that in my favorites, because that one... You need to build it up like crazy. These ones aren't as bad, but they're definitely not like a traditional liquid lipstick that's going to be so pigmented and then so matte. Like these are more moussey and I think they're really easy to work with. And the color pigmentation, like the payoff ends up being really good. So I do suggest you try these out if you are at Ulta or your drugstore or wherever you are that you see these. I like them. I am willing to try more colors, and I haven't worn them a lot this month, so that's why I included them. ColourPop by far has my favorite liquid lipstick. So the first one I want to talk about is Midi. I feel like I mentioned this. I know I used it in like a tutorial. I don't know. Either way, I'm mentioning it again. It is the most beautiful, like, nudie pink, dusty pink kind of color. It's basically like my lips but better and it is so pretty and you guys already know the like formula of the color pop lipsticks is just amazing. So I really like this color. I don't need lip liner with it or anything because it just kind of goes with my lips and it's super easy to work with and just in love with it. A great everyday color. And then these two products are what I have on my lips today and these are actually from the K-pop collection. So that was Karuchi's collaboration with ColourPop. And these are both in this shade Chi. You have the lip liner and then of course the ultra matte liquid lipstick. It is what I have on like I just said. It is just a beautiful neutral brown. It looks so different on everybody. I expected it to kind of be a lighter like nudie shade but it's actually pretty dark on me and I think that's because like I have a fairer skin tone so it does look different on everybody but I'm obsessed I've been wearing this all the time and I love the details on the packaging it is so cute that there is rose gold accents on this packaging you guys know I am a rose gold freak so that's it those have been my absolute favorites this month so I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and let me know if you pick up any of these products or if there's anything that you're really loving right now that you think I should try out Please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, you know you can always chat with me on any of my social media. All that information is always listed down below in the description box. And that's really all I have to say, so I'll just see you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Mwah.